Hi, it's Gary Kay. We're here at Infocom 2017. I was walking down the aisle and I run into an old friend of mine, or I should say old friends of mine, uh, Jeff Irvin, who is the founder of Spinatar. Jeff, how are you doing this morning? Very good. Thanks, Gary. Now, you and I met back in 1999. I don't know if you remember our first meeting, but in 1999, primarily you were kind of a box house uh, at that time. And, uh, and since then, you've convert, completely converted your company to a systems company and now one of the most respected systems company and a model and a bellwether for other companies to emulate. Yeah, I, I mean, you, you helped in that. I mean, you participated. Uh, we were using you, if you remember, to help us kind of make that pro progression into the AV integration business. And, and actually, we're the ones that uh, introduced me to my current partner of 18 years now. So, Jay Regine? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, and uh, so, how, how has, first of all, you've been in the industry long enough to have some perspective on this, and, you know, technologies come and go. What has been, if you look back at your career in the industry, which has spanned about 30 years now, what has been the biggest wow that you've seen over those years? Like, if you could point to one thing, technology, product, thing that you think changed everything. You know, I, that, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a culmination of things. I mean, the 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 progression of technology from what I saw early on, um, with things as basic as overhead transparency yeah. projectors and 35 millimeter slide projectors, to where we are today is just it's fascinating to see the all the. And there's been a lot of contributors to that, but you know, to that now today collaboration is huge. Wireless was huge. Uh, I think BYOD and, and that whole wireless presentation technology is beginning to kind of change the industry, especially in the higher education space. So lots happening and, and lots of excitement in the industry as well, too. Yeah, I mean, I think you hit on a couple of things that are, everyone's talking about here at the show. Collaboration, obviously, and, and, and that leads us into 4K. I think 4K is going to be that thing that really kind of propels our industry, but not because of the resolution, but because of how much more you can do with it, because of the pixel density of the pixels, you can now seat people. It changes room design because you can even seat people closer to the display, which means that you open up the room for a lot more opportunities. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and obviously here on the show floor are lots of people showing that kind of technology. So uh, it's kind of interesting what's been a boom and what's been a bust. Uh, but certainly that's, that's a boom. Now, how have you survived all this uh, consolidations that's happened over the years? I mean, one of the things that I think has been the biggest change in our industry is how many companies that have done these roll-ups and then disappeared. And our, our industry isn't famous for doing uh, consolidation very successfully. You know, I think our people are wondering, when are we going to be next? I mean, there's been so much of that. And, and obviously, I think it's an industry, though, that's ripe for consolidation. I mean, there's just there's still a lot of mom-and-pop players in here and in the industry. and. And we still have not yet to participate in that. Um, but I think there is a reason and a rationale behind either getting bigger or getting niche. I don't think you want to just continue to be a, an AV integrator, middle market size AV integrator into the future. You need to be a part of something bigger or certainly pick niches and fill holes. And you've done a great job at that. Hey, so when you're not, uh, when you're not wearing your Spinatar hat, what is your favorite hobby? What do you like to do personally? When you're when you got a Sunday afternoon all to yourselves, what do you do? I love to play golf. Really? And I love I love to drive cars too. So cars, golf, and red wine. Okay. <laughs> all right. Can't go wrong with those three, cars, golf, and red wine. You heard it from Jeff Irvin. Uh, congratulations on your success. I'm super proud of what you've done. Thank you. I'm excited yeah. what, 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 how that worked out for you and Jay. I thought you guys would be a great match when I introduced you guys back in 1999, and it's, and it's been phenomenal, and I'm excited to have played a very small part in that. But uh, you're two of my favorite people in the industry, so congratulations Thanks, on everything Gary. you've Thanks done. Thanks, Gary. Thanks for being a part of it, too. And uh, hopefully you'll watch, and everyone who's watching this will watch all of the videos we're shooting here on the show floor, because we're going to shoot about 1,800 videos on all the new products launched here at the show at ravepubs.com.